Imagine waking up to find 10 brand new paint by number kits live in your web shop. Title, images, SEO, blog post, everything without writing a single line of code. In the next few minutes, I will unpack the exact N8N workflow. We will break down the AI prompts, walk node by node through automation and show you where every credential lives. By the end, you will be able to clone the template, drop in your keys and start selling art while you sleep. Do you own an Etsy shop? or another WordPress or WooCommerce web shop that's selling digital art, this is the workflow for you. We're working with a trigger node that fires every two days. We have four AI phases. We got a style analysis, a scene prompt, a title prompt, and a blog post. And we're using full AI to generate the images with a special Flux LoRa that will be explained when we get to those nodes. And we are working with a Google Sheet to keep track of all the generated products and their images. And we're using Telegram to report the generated images and the generated products and eventually the whole blog post with a new URL to check immediately the re end result. Let's dive into the whole workflow note by note and explain what each note is doing. This is a scheduled trigger note. If you're unfamiliar with N at N, you can look for the note and you can pick schedule trigger note. Uh, we already got that one. So let's zoom out and I didn't include it in our workflow. This node will run every two days, as you can see. Then for this special uh, workflow, we have created a um, function node with a whole list of all painters that um, we have generated with um, ChatGPT. So if you want to change this because you uh, are working in a different niche and want different products uh, to be generated for your store, you can just ask ChatGPT, copy this whole function note and ask ChatGPT to change the subject of this function note. Uh, when we test this node, it will uh, output a painter with four important paintings he made. Every day uh, there will be uh, a new output, so we will never create the same products uh, on every uh, run. Then uh, the output the painter will be sent to uh, the first agent. This is the whole prompt if you want to recreate this workflow. We are going to generate a style. So this uh, agent is generating uh, according to the name of the painter and the history of the painter uh, a whole uh, analysis of his style because we were going to need that to input into the image prompt agent. Uh, this is a file safe because if you're using a different AI LLM model, uh, because we're working with open router, if you're using a free model, then the output will be different. And you will uh, notice that there are a lot of uh, elements in the prompt that will be need that will have to be deleted because otherwise you will get errors in your workflow so this just in our case we don't need it because we're using gpt 4.1 and then it's just a, a extra note but it won't give you any errors then the whole style prompt will be sent to the image prompt agent and this is the image prompt. If you want to recreate it, you will notice because I've created this workflow for a, a Dutch uh, WooCommerce store that some prompts will be in Dutch and some will be in English. The image prompt agent is in English because we are using full AI with a special LoRa uh, that's uh, during testing, I've noticed that English will be will give you much better results than uh, Dutch. So 
we keep the image prompt agent in English. Let's save it. Another tip, if you're testing a workflow and you want to save money on uh, API credits, when the workflow has run, you can pin a work uh, a node so the data in this node will always be the same. Because if you uh, are satisfied with the output of this prompt, you can just pin it and you won't uh, make a new API call to uh, the LLM you're using. In our case, I will unpin it and save. When the image prompt agent uh, has run, we are going to separate the image prompts and grab only the image prompt from the result. Uh, as you can see, there are some line breaks in the output. We're going to clean them. And you've noticed that the line breaks are gone. Otherwise, you will get a JSON uh, output error uh, when you're going to generate the images. Now, we're using uh, full AI with a Flux LoRa. That will be this one. Uh, you can just change this path from Hugging Face, grab another LoRa, and the output will be very different. Uh, for this store, we like the output a lot in this uh, special uh, LoRa, so we will just keep it like this. Um, if you want to generate square images or uh, even uh, landscape or uh, short form, then you have to change this setting and the image aspect ratio will be different. Now we have sent all the images. We have to wait for a minute because we're making 10 images and then we are going to get the images and eventually we can preview them. Uh, let's see what the results are. This is a painting by number store, digital product store. And these are all beautiful products. Nice. Then we are going to upload all the media files to uh, the WordPress store. You have to create your credentials. Uh, that's pretty simple. Just go to your backend of your store and uh, create the credentials in your WordPress store. If you have any questions uh, about how to set it up, just contact us on WhatsApp. Uh, you can find the contact information if you if you create an account on Sam Automation. Then just contact us, and we will help you get this workflow set up. Then we will send, we will use this agent to generate a title for the um, products. And we're using the uh, name of the painter as inspiration. And we're giving all the generated image prompts as also to the agent we are using again chat gpt 4.1 the api from open router and just to show you uh, the cost of one call or yeah it's uh, negligible how low the cost are to make one uh, call to the api and uh, i've noticed in testing the output of this um uh, 4.1 is really great then we are going to clean the title. As you can see, we've generated 10 titles for all the products. Then we are going to um, uh, aggregate the uploaded uh, media file, the title and a product ID. Eventually, this is a very important note because if you you are running on WordPress store, uh, the product description is made in this node. And I'm using here this 
product des description especially for this store if you have if you uh, want to change the product description and you're having an own store you have to change this to your own style and own website to fit um, don't change these just use them in your uh, in your uh, product description uh, so uh, the product description will be unique for every product you generate now we have run it and all the descriptions have are created then we are going to upload it to the google sheets to keep track of what we are generating then we are going to grab one product and we are going to create the products in our store this is this note you can just leave all the settings as they are just uh, you will have to connect your uh, WooCommerce store with the API to be able to do this uh, if you're having a hard time uh, connecting your account to the to your WooCommerce store just contact us and we will help you then we are using a, a telegram bot to report all the products that are generated so you can keep track of the product that are generated and you can see immediately with a link uh, which product is generated if you want to change the content uh, you can just change this text but keep this json in here so you will get a link to the product um, so we're using an seo writer agent to create the content this is a really important part because this prompt is in Dutch. If you are uh, uh, using an English store or another language, you have to ask, just copy this whole prompt, paste it in ChatGPT and translate it to your own uh, language. And you, will, the prompt and the blog will be much better. Uh, for this store, we're using Flatsum. It's a real, uh, really common uh, WooCommerce team uh, to show the new product in the blog. If you are using a different team, then just grab uh, uh, the uh, the this element from your team and paste it over here. Then you will get. You can just re re reuse this part and put it in on top so in the block that we will show you in just a second uh, how, it, how it turned out uh, what the end result will be this is a great prompt if you uh, just want to write uh, a simple block and this is the output I've generated the block then we are going to clean it this is all uh, because we have noticed that people don't want to uh, use the GPT 4.1 uh, when they're just testing and if you're using a free model from open router then you will have to use these kind of function nodes to clean the content because otherwise you will get JSON errors uh, in your uh, agents then we are going to use the SEO writer agent to generate a title for our blog post and this is again in Dutch so another time if you want to change this just as ChatGPT to translate it to your own language when we are set all set and all the content is generated we are going to publish it to our WordPress store and we are going to send a telegram message with the new uh, generated blog and then on your website this is the whole article that's been generated with all the new products in it if you liked the template you can uh, go to uh, the link in the description and grab it from our website samautomation.work when you 
got the template you can import the template over here and use your own template for this uh, workflow you're going to need an open router api key and a fall ai api key if you're using a different image model just contact us on whatsapp and we can help you work out uh, your api to make it a little bit custom for you that's a full ai driven product factory powered by n8n and a handful of apis Clone the template, tweak the prompt, and start shipping art at scale. Smash like if this set saved you weeks of dev time. Subscribe for more no-code automation and drop questions below. I answer every comment. Happy automating.